Let's have a glass of Lipton iced tea. Lipton tea, the brisk tea. Delicious Lipton soups. And tempting frosty desserts present Arthur Godfrey's Talent Scouts. Lipton soups are thrifty, delicious, yes, indeed. Hope them homemade frosty you make with even speed. Refreshing Lipton iced tea is B-R-I-S-K. Now here comes Arthur Godfrey, the talent's on its way. And now, here's that man himself, Arthur Godfrey. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, George Bryan, Jerry Bressler, and the orchestra. Ladies and gentlemen, it's so nice to see you. How's by you business, huh? All right. Uh, business is good. What you got over there? Oh, Cobb's Corner. Well, bless my soul. Oh, it's so nice to see you. Every morning of my life, when I leave the Lexington Hotel to come to the studio, all those lovely ladies who work in Cobb's Corner come out and say bye-bye like this to me. <laughs> Customers can go hang while they come out the door. It's so nice to see you. I'm glad you got in, all in the same place. Anything's for free, I'll let you know. <laughs> well, business is pretty good around here this lovely week. We've just been looking at some of the reports of business in the country for the year. You know, they look good. I was looking at the sales of the new TV sets, an all-time high. The first four months of this year, 2,152,000. Boy, that's a lot of TV. Corsets and girdle sales set a record, too. <laughs> yeah. That was also for the first four months of 54. Of course, now with warm weather, corsets and girdles start dropping off, but after that... <laughs> Now, uh, looking in the news for the week, we, we know now who the fastest man on earth is. Dr. John Stapp. Stapp. Dr. Stapp, a scientist with the Air Force. Maybe you saw that article in Collier's Magazine, did you? Riding in a special rocket-powered vehicle, Dr. Stapp gets up to 421 miles an hour in five seconds. And then... He slams on his brakes and comes to a complete stop in a half a second. Boy, oh boy. That, that is really traveling, isn't it, huh? A half a second. That puts 22 Gs on his safety belt. Woo! And the rest of the week, some of, some of the newspaper boys have been having a lot of fun with the uh, Army McCarthy hearings in Washington all week. They were supposed to wind it up, but... They haven't done it yet. They're waiting for the networks to find a summer replacement. But uh, <laughs> if, you, if you get confused, did, did you see in the paper the, the, the boys were having some real cute things about that? Then the definitions they got. If you're watching that, those hearings on TV and you don't quite understand, you know, a fellow says, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. Well, you know what that means? Turn the cameras this way, boys, please. <laughs> The fellow says, my friend, it's, that means my opponent. If he says, my learned friend, that means the dope. <laughs> if he says, my distinguished friend over here, that means that terrible dope. If he says, uh, I shall be happy to enlighten the gentleman, that means hold still for this one, you can you. <laughs> I shall have to refresh my recollection means I need time, Dad. Take it easy, will you? Take it easy. And if he says, please, sir, may I have your attention? That means, ah, that's better. Two cameras, that's fine. <laughs> but they say that these hearings have caught on everywhere, even in Tin Pan Alley. Jerry, have you seen the new songs? Walter Winchell had a good one in his column. They got a new song now called uh, Point of Order, Baby, I Love You. <laughs> and then there's one called Three Cones in a Fountain. Three cones in a fountain. You are my sunshine. <laughs> and I got a real cute one called Somebody Bad Cropped a Photograph. 
But anyway, if, if I can be serious with you for just a moment, I do hope that you can beg, borrow, or steal, or look when nobody's looking at this week's issue of Life magazine. Don't buy it now. Your neighbor has it. Go over on some excuse and borrow it. Uh, there's a very fine story in there that I want you all to read. You've all wondered about him. You wanted to know what kind of a guy he is. So you, you get a hold of this week's issue of Life magazine, and you read this story on page 133, entitled Toughest Cop of the Western World. It's the story of General Curtis E. LeMay, Commanding General of the Strategic Air Command. Please get that article and read it. He's the most... Well, well, you just read it, then you'll know. Now let's get to the Lipton Talent Scout show. I want you to meet our first talent scout with me. I haven't met her yet either. Her name is Miss Arlene Price. Miss Price? Yeah, Arlene. How's my what? Your pulse. My colts? Your pulse. Oh, my pulse. Mm. Well, take it. <laughs> I'd love to, but am I living? Well, you're living? Yeah, you're, you're alive, all right. Yeah, you're right here. Know. You want to hold hands with me? I'd well, love that's okay. To. That's Adore. fine. Let's get down here where the cameras can't see Very us. Very good. You know, somebody's liable to crop this photograph, and I don't want that to happen. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking. Tell me, Miss Price, where do you come from? Originally? Yes. New Jersey. New Jersey? What Glassboro, town? Glassboro, New Jersey. Which town? Glassboro, New Jersey. Glassboro? Where is that? Southern part of the state. We have one citizen of Glassboro good, here. Good, good, good. You're a friend, I hope. Mm hmm And what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a clothes horse in the Elizabeth Arden stable, but they don't ever enter me at Belmont. <laughs> You're a model for Miss Arden, right. are you really? Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. She's a very talented woman. She runs a cosmetic shop for a hobby and races horses for a living. Right. She sure does. Now, uh, you, uh, you model clothing for her. Right. I thought she only did cosmetics. Oh, no. We have the most beautiful gowns in the world. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing one. Well, yeah, yeah. as a committee of one, I'd say that was very pretty. Good. She does that, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, where do you model them? For her in her clothing shop? That's right. In the salon and um, usually around the country when, I, when I'm not too busy in the salon. And occasionally in Australia. Oh, isn't that nice? You go to Australia on these mm -hmm. tours? That's a pretty good job you've got. But most of the time, you're in the salon, That's huh? right. It's amazing how times have changed. But I just flew in tonight on a wing and a prayer with the boys that I brought from Memphis, the Blackwood Brothers. Oh, what's the name of them? Blackwood Brothers. Blackwood Brothers. Mm -hmm. What are they? They are gospel and spiritual singers, and they are really the hottest boys I've ever heard. Where'd you find them? I found them in Memphis. I heard them on WMPS, as a matter of fact, and uh, WMPS, Memphis. Mm -hmm. The uh, station manager is in the audience tonight from WMPS. He's the man that made that applause <laughs> a while ago, huh? <laughs> All right. Now, these Blackwood brothers, do you know where they've been on the radio down there, and what else have they done? They've done a little television, and they have done a lot of personal appearances in the South and Southwest. And I think they ought to be heard all over. Well, now, the, this, this program has the facilities to be heard all over. Whether anybody's listening all over or not is problematical. <laughs> well, we'll try, Miss Price, anyhow, thanks to you. Here they are in the Lipton spotlight, ladies and gentlemen, the Blackwood Brothers. <laughs> Have you talked to the man upstairs? Well, he wants to hear from you. 
Have you talked to the man upstairs? He'll always see you through. And trouble, never trouble you. Well, don't you run and hide. And if you ever need a friend, he'll be there by your side. Just turn your eyes to heaven and say your simple prayer. Through clouds of lace, we'll see his face. No matter rain or wind. Talk to the man ups all oh, that <laughs> rhythm is our business, rhythm is what we say. Oh, that's so wonderful. <laughs> We've had more fun with that rhythm is our business here for the last week. Well, those were the Blackwood brothers. The Blackwood brothers. We'll have them back a little bit later. You'll excuse me a minute, I gotta sell a little tea. Oh, well, he's a very happy little fella. Gonna have to help too. I got to tell you this story. My eldest son worked for the last year as credit manager for a large rubber corporation. One of their branch offices up in Massachusetts. Get a little experience, you know. And uh, well, he quit the job. You can quit applauding. <laughs> But he said, uh, he, he, met, he met some characters and he sure learned about human nature there, all right. These people coming around trying to keep their credit straight, see. And he said there was one fella came in, all out of breath one afternoon, very sorry and apologetic. He couldn't pay his bill. He says, I'm sorry, I just lost my job this afternoon. He says, he says well, what do you do? He says, I'm a clarinet player. And I was a very happy fella. Rhythm is my business, but I just lost my job this afternoon. He says, <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's a happy Joe. If we could be like that all the time, we'd be all right, wouldn't we, Jerry? I never see you walking. You always walk around sad like a president of a bank that says no. <laughs> that's some bunch we got over there. But look, Lipton is in the knife business again. Every year, you know, we have to have something to stimulate the salesman and the to get the grocers to make displays and, you know, to put the tea up there. Gosh, all the grocers are up to here in tea. They got to move it, you know. And we got to have some way to stimulate the sales. Now, no, everybody knows that there just isn't any more cooling, more delicious beverage than a glass of ice Lipton tea. But even so, in the summertime, it seems we have to stimulate a little bit because if we don't, somebody else will out-stimulate us, see? So we have quite a deal here. Look at this. There is a steak knife. There are four of them in the package. A very nice little steak knife. A very fine steel, and that feels like a... Yeah, that's an edge, all right. And the point of it is serrated. Serrated, you know. Let's face it, it's all gummed up with marks in it. <laughs> you know, like you do with the old man's razor when you try to open a can. But it's serrated, you know, so you can saw through those real tough steaks. <laughs> it's a very fine knife. And the retail value of these things, bona fide retail value, is $2. As that's two, 50 cents a piece for those knives. And that's a good price. They're very good. White, what kind of handles? I don't know, imitation ivory. 
Well, it wouldn't be ivory, not for 50 cents. Plastic, maybe, I don't know. But it's very good, and they have a bona fide value of $2. That we know for the four knives. Now, here's the deal. You can have them for only six bits, 75 cents, plus the top from any Lipton tea or Lipton tea bag package. Any Lipton tea, this size or smaller, Lipton tea package, tear off the top, send it in, or the top from any Lipton tea bag package, any size. Send in the top of either of those two packages, Lipton tea packages, with 75 cents to Lipton tea, box 100, New York, 46, New York. Once again, for the radio folks, Lipton T, Box 100, New York 46, New York. Your name and address, and 75 cents, and the top from a box of Lipton T. And those four knives, believe me, you'll be very proud of them. Proud to serve them at your table, no matter who your guests may be. The next talent scout would be... Mr. Anthony Orricchio, I hope I pronounced that right. Is that right? Did I pronounce that right? Orricchio. Orricchio, that's right. right. I had it right. Orricchio, Anthony Orricchio, what do you do for a living, sir? Uh, I'm a printer, Mr. Dodd. A printer here in New York? That's right. For whom yeah. do you work? I work for Whitehall Press. Downtown, 110 Greenwich Street. Wine, Whitehall Press. What, what do they uh, print? Well, Programs uh, and things uh, we like that? We specialize in ad work and reprint work. I Four see. Four color reprints, all advertising. I see, I see. Have you always been a printer? Yes. Since you were a young Over fellow? Over 20 years. Over 20 years. Uh -huh. Got any little printers? No, two daughters. Two daughters, <laughs> huh? Well, how old are they? One is 16 and one is 12. Oh, I'll bet they're the light of your life, huh? You ain't kidding. Yes, gee whiz. <laughs> Where do you live? Up in the Bronx. Up in the Bronx, huh? <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> well, you got some of your friends down here tonight. Yeah, pee over the rocks, huh? Your kids go to school up there? Yes, they do. Yeah. What's, what school do they uh, Well, Antoinette is 16. She goes to Evander Child right now. Mm -hmm. And Rosemary goes to PS 116. The Bronx there. Did you go to school up there? I certainly did. What school? Well, it's, it's still there. It's a very old school, PS 13. It's on 216th Street. Oh. An old red schoolhouse. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> An old red schoolhouse in the Bronx, huh? There's a good title for a song. Jerry, why don't you write one about that? The little old red schoolhouse in the Bronx. <laughs> a very good song, wouldn't it now, huh? Sure, Sounds good. Now, whom did you bring us, Mr. Oricchio? I brought you Sal Febrero, an accordionist. Give me his last name again. Febrio. Febrio. Febrio, huh? That's the month of uh, February in Italian. Oh. Can't forget it. Sell, uh, you say that Febrio. Uh, January, Febrario, March. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a nice month because uh, you don't need an ice box in that month. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Sal Febrio, huh? Yes, that's How me. long have you known this lad? Well, I haven't known him too long. I watched him at the Rustic Cabin. He was appearing with Louis Prima. He was a soloist. And yeah. I think he has something. He plays his own conception, makes his own arrangements. And I think he's good. You're For a 19-year-old like boy, huh? He's only playing six years. He won three scholarships, by the way. And he's 19 group. years old and only been playing six years. Six years, and he won three scholarships in a row in the Ruggiero School of Music up in Mont Vernon. Sounds like you got a lot of friends around no, here not tonight. Too many. <laughs> not too many. <laughs> well, that's sure nice to meet you, Mr. Auricchio, and Thank we're you. very happy that you brought the young fellow. We'll Thank put him right in the Lipton Mr. spotlight Thank for you. you. Salve Braio! <laughs> Thank you. 
See, from here, he just hates to play that, doesn't he? Huh? <laughs> Boy, how he loves that instrument. Sal Febrio, F-E-B-B-R-A-I-O, Febrio. The next talent scout is Mr. Tony Macrice. Hello there. <laughs> now, tell me, I, did I mispronounce that? Macrice. Did I do it right? Macrice. That's Greek, huh? That's right. Born here in the States? That's right. Folks from Greece. That's right. Good. What do you do for a living? Well, I work in Bankers Trust in the evening. Bankers Trust? That's right. Uh -huh. Have you ever been to your father's country? Oh, yes. I was there 16 years. Is I that so? There. I grew up there. Oh. Oh, where? In Athens? In Patras. Patras. That's right. Don't tell me you got people from Patras. <laughs> A son of a gun, if you mentioned Thule in Greenland, there'd be somebody here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. No matter where you say you're from, there's always folks that's glad right. you came from there. I guess so. Which is very nice. So you're a banker, huh? That's right. Banks are wonderful institutions. I, I just love banks. They're glad to loan you money if you can prove you don't need it. <laughs> nice folks. Tell me, whom did you bring us? I brought Miss Talia Halkias, whom I met up in Julia School of Music. Of course, she studies up there, and she also studied in uh, Trinity College of uh, Music over in London and also in Rome. Oh. She did some uh, radio work and nightclub work. Now, tell me how you pronounce her name again. McCreese. Tony No, McCreese. no, no, not your name. Oh. Your name. No, no. We, oh, the other name. We got your name. Now, let's, let's get this going. <laughs> how do you pronounce her name? Talia Halkias. Thalia Halkias. That's right. H-A-L-K-I-A-S. Halkias. Thalia Halkias. All right. Now, she's a coloratura. That's right. And you met her at Juilliard. That's right. What were you doing there? You a student, too? I, I was a student, yes. Right. What were you studying? Violin. Violin, is that so? Well, all right. And she's got a, an aria for us tonight? That's right. She has one okay, of we better get her on, because the time is flying, thanks to you, Mr. Marcris. Poli Kala Afgaristo. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Here she is, Talia Halkias. <laughs> Corre, 
mi ritorno il mio cuore ferito e già Thank you, I thank you. Oh, that's so nice. I thank you. Look, 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 look. This is uh, orange frosty sherbet with a little piece of poison ivy on the top. <laughs> the client has a silly idea that if I taste this stuff, it will influence you more to buy it. If he only knew how I don't like it, he wouldn't do that. <laughs> Seriously, it is very good. And there are four kinds. Orange, lemon, chocolate, and vanilla. All come in envelopes like that. It's delicious. Will you try it? Lim uh, Lipton Frosty Dessert. We've got to come quickly now and you get me a winner, will you? Bring them out here in the order in which they first appeared. The Blackwood Brothers first... Okay. The accordionist Sal Febrio. And the coloratura Thalia Halkias. Okay, give it to the Blackwood Brothers. Stay tuned for I Love Lucy on the CBS television network. It's a great way to drive. Auto Club membership and exchange insurance provides peace of mind. It pays to belong. WKZO-TV, Kalamazoo.
Bulova, America's first choice in waterproof watches. This handsome Bulova CB has radium dial and hands, is unmatched for rugged dependability. Waterproof, shock resistant, anti magnetic, yet only 3575. Waterproof when case, crystal, crown are kept intact. Philip Morris, in the new exclusive Snap Open Pack, presents the Lucille Ball Desi Arnaz Show, I Love Lucy. Yeah. 